Wawa, woo wee, woo woo. I am not gonna do a tier list over 400. Okay, that is a separate stream of itself. Okay, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a tier list of all the specialty ones from all the games. Now, granted, I will not know most of them, but that's okay because we have a wonderful thing called the Animal Crossing fandom. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Animal Crossing tier list. Why the fuck is King Boo here? So let us see who the absolute hell are all these people, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. We got a stork on the first person. We got a cotton candy, red lipstick. Oh, we got the blue eyeliner. It reminds me of some like, like 50s mom. I already kind of like the look. Let's see if we can pull her up real quick. On here, let's see. Mamamu. Here we go. Phyllis. That's a cutie. Her birthday is coming up. Yes. She is in, she is a pelican. Not a pelican. What was her kind of specialty? Let's see. She's a bitch. Space cat. That is, shots have been fired. Why? Why is she a bitch? With the town open 24 hours a day, I can see a way, I can, I see way too much people in this town. Okay, okay. She's the bitch. Oh, Phyllis is a pelican who works the night shift as a clerk from the post office. Ah, I can see. Okay, I see Phyllis now. She smokes. She's a smoker. She's got the bow tie. She's got the blush. She works at Town Hall in the Animal Crossing series. She's the considerable, mo antisocial, aloof, irritable oldest sister of Pelly. Civil worker. Mm. Yes, shout out to my uh, Beetlejuice. Like a DMV attendant? Oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay. What are we gonna do? Uh, I mean, immediately civil worker, but she's a working woman, I dig it. I'm gonna give her a C. Now, who the hell is this cute llama here? Cute llama, pink llama, pinkish lame, lamel, alpaca. Oh, she might be alpaca. Is that Reese? Oh God, I love her name already. That's Reese. My kind of guy is the very best when it comes to refer. Cyrus, from New Leaf, Reese, Risa, Lisa, is a pink alpaca who makes her debut in Animal Crossing New Leaf. She works at retail and Cyrus, her husband, she is one that the player can sell things to, ask for turnip prices and can ask to display an item for villagers to buy. I'll give her, no, B, let's see. You can take wedding photos for her and Cyrus on her, oh, in May? Mm, she's gonna be a high B, a high B. Interactability, okay, we got interactability. We got, what was it, cute hairstyle. Like, I think there's there's too many, okay, there's gonna be A's. We still got, we gotta keep going here. Who the fuck is this guy? Is it unionized? That's what I'm asking. He looks like he he already has formed, he, he has formed the original union. Is that, well, he's a mole, but not that mole, I don't think. No, 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 no. Oh, Rossetti! Rossetti! Zoli Rossetti! Mr. Reset. He is insane. From Space Cat, okay. From the live audience, widely known as Mr. Rossetti. He's very cranky mole that appears to all Animal Crossing series games, his job is to make sure that all players have a say continuously throughout gameplay. The more the players reset within the Animal Crossing games or turn off the power without saving, the harsher he gets. So people must make sure they have... So they, oh, okay. Can I pull up a little bit of an action, like an interaction with them? Maybe make him sell his case here? We'll just watch this for a quick bit. Rosetti, hello! I am, uh, allow me to introduce myself. The name's Rosetti, Mr. Rosetti. Have we met before? At the post office, perhaps? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me just say thanks for buying this game, Animal Crossing. Oh shit, he's meta. I'm on behalf on everyone at Nintendo. I am, uh, what was the next part? Uh, fuck it, I forgot. Oh, that's enough. Let's get down to business, what do you say? Because you may not know it, but you and I got issues to discuss. First time, let me just tell you what is it I'm doing here, just so there's no misunderstandings later on. You, my friend, reset, reset your game, didn't you? Ah, maybe by accident? Ah, okay. 
Or maybe you didn't, uh, maybe you just uh, went and turned off the power without saving. Sound familiar? What? Sorry? What was that? I didn't catch that last bit. Did you just say I'm right? You did what I said you did. <laughs> Fuck that face. That is an S tier fucking neighbor. You're telling me this guy breaks? My dude breaks the meta, comes in, cooks, talks to you face to face, and says, hey, you didn't say properly. All right, you playing, I'm, I'm the guy you're supposed to like. Okay, fuck Tom Nook, fuck Isabel, she's cute and whatever, but let me tell you something. No one gets the job done but old Rossetti here. I'm the one underneath the ground doing the piping. I'm working. All right? Don't go fucking around in my game and say it's what Rossetti would have wanted. Oh, look at that. Rover, cat. Cute. He, he was kind of an OG, but I would say high C. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Is that Sable? Set. Sable? Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying this. Hedge Hog. Sable Abel. A lot of people got a crush on her. I can see Freckles. I can see it. She is shy, reserved character that prefers to work in the background while her younger sister Mabel assists customers. About the third day of trying to befriend her, maybe second, Sable will say, Mabel, please, which indicates you still need to bond. By the sixth day, she will acknowledge you by name. Hey, I like that. <gasps> My girl Sahara! And by, and by the way, I mean like Sahara's like totally non-binary vibes. I can see that. And she gives me cool shit. Another A. And who is this cute little chihuahua? What is this? Hello? She's a fountain goddess who appears as a statue in the fountain city as well as making a physical appearance in the fountain player's town. Surin? Surin. 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 Got it. Got it. Like Serene Williams. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nah. Let's see. Tom the man. The legend Tom Nook. I mean, don't need don't need any questions. He's the guy. Like Rossetti and Tom Nook know that you're playing a game, but everyone else doesn't know this shit. Wendell, who are you? Is a pattern selling traveling artist in Animal Crossing series. He has slightly different roles in each game he has appeared, but they all resolve around artistic ability and design skills. Oh, he's a tired artist. A. Oh, this bitch. Yeah, uh, F. You take up all my item slots. You take up all the balloons, okay? You take up all the message bottle. Everything that is hopeful and wonderful that you take, you, take, you put a fucking egg in it. Now, who's this cute cat person? Let's see, Katie, hello. Little town visitor, love the bangs. Uh, Katie. She's a child, oh God, okay, all right. Um. Yeah, we'll just throw her up, I'm gonna throw up as B. No, Katrina. Fuck it. I I like her. She's cool. She's cool as fuck. I'll throw her for his A. Okay, kicks. Let me see that. Oh, he's a bad boy. Let me if he runs a shoe shop. Oh, but he gets nice, which sells both. Oh, so he turned into a better life. That's good. New leaf. Aw. He turned over a new leaf and made kicks. Yeah, you're going up there. I like that. This must be labeled then. Can we go to label? Let's see. Okay. Also known as La Belle, is a special character in Animal Crossing. It serves as a store clerk, accessories clerk, store new leaf special visitor who rewards unique clothing and player models for. Oh, she is the younger sister of Sable and the older sister of Mabel, and left home to work a fashion designer in the city following her parents' death. Oh, e yeah. Couple icebergs. I like these. I like these too. They remind me of Kappa. They're kind of cool. The bull haircut's bothering me though. So we're gonna put you at a, as a C. Oh, this drunken sailor dude. I fucking love him. He's hilarious. Well, nah, you're not a sir. But we got Isabel. 
Yeah, she's top A. What, you don't think that... No, she does, like, she does some kick-ass singing. She, you know, I don't know, great. And she's in Smash. And she's she's kicking ass. She's with the Doom guy. And so, you know what? She's above top. Well, <laughs> I'm trying. Hold up. Jackie, this perverted little guy, but I also love him. This horny candy lover. Nah, you know what? He's mad as too. I'll throw him up his ass too. Oh yeah, she does hair, right? Yeah, no, I saw that in the new trailer. Ah, uh, I really love her look. We'll put you up. Yeah, we'll put you up there. Oh, is this like the? Uh, oh shit, is this the um, the Christmas character? Is this like the holiday character? Oh no. Okay, I kind of like them back there. Yeah. Whoa. This dude's looking rough. She? Oh, my sorry, I'm sorry, miss. Uh, cop, cop, let's just go ahead and deal with you there. Ooh, hello, Brewster. Yeah, you might have to be top A. I think you're hiding something with those glasses and stuff. The bartender, you're telling me the bartender of Animal Crossing doesn't know some shit? Tom having a rough day? Oh my gosh, this guy has like the white person, like smiling face. It's like the- Nice cop. Careful. Kind of thing, like though he looks very, he's a very much adorable. I put him, yeah, I put him out a low B. Okay, if we're gonna look up something, I gotta look up this King Boo kind of person. Okay, they look really fucking cute. Is a spirit special character that appears in Animal Crossing series in the early hours of the morning, usually between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. In New Horizon, he appears between 8 p.m. And from 4A, he is absent in Animal Forest, though it was added later in New Leaf. Okay, so there, so someone can die. After the player returns, he will ask player once an expensive item, 10,000 bells, for the reward, or an item they do not currently own. Which will always announce if the item is giving is clothing, furniture, flooring, wallpaper. Choosing an expensive item does not guarantee valuable reward, and a cheap item or one of the players. All right. Oh shit, that's kind of cool though. Oh, well thank you for noticing. I'm afraid I can't explain why right now. I must ask you to collect all five spirits in the village. If I don't, Lord Smarty Pants will punish me. Oh gosh, of course, I'm the one, what? For spirits, bug catching skills. All right, what happens when you collect all of them? Wow, you did it. You gathered all them. Yeah, he's fucking adorable. I want to find him. And he's really cute. And you're the only dead person. So I kind of want to put him in S. And you're saying that I get valuable shit? Fuck yeah. So what the fuck? Who's the mannequin person? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Blanca. Is a special character in the Animal Crossing series. Blanca English name likely comes from the word blank, referring to her blank face. Blanca would randomly appear in visiting other towns. The first time the player has met her, Blanca will have no face. She'll ask the player to draw. Oh, that's kind of fucking cool. <laughs> I love that face. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh. Uh, you're there right there oh this son of a bitch i first i didn't like him because he was taking something from me but then also he gave me cool shit so yeah hell yeah and the girl boom right there mabel the og you're giving you gave me my fresh kicks before anyone else was able to who are you i kind of want to learn about you who is this who are you who are you pave Viva Festivia! Fuck yeah. <laughs> Character who appears in City Folk, New Leaf, and New Horizons. His name may originate from the world of Pavio, which is Portuguese for peacock. Oh, so we got some gay representation. I see. Which is dope. Um, yeah. Oh, the Turnip King. You got the turnip stonks, right? I see you. Okay, then let's, uh, you're going, you're the person that's going to be making me money. So you, you automatically have pay to win. Ooh, the dream lady. Another meta person. I like her a lot. Nah, what am I saying? I'm not feeling it. I don't even know what. 
I lost it. I lost it. Lost the vibe. The dream lady's cool, but nah, I wasn't. She's got boobas. We'll put you behind Brewster. Ooh, dragon. This is what a lot I've, I've been seeing on like TikTok where a lot of like a lot of people want to run away with this man. Right. Very like. What was it? Hot goth boy. Right. Which I understand. I understand the rebelliousness of it. And I mean, dragons are dope and they like insects. So, so that's kind of cool, but also creepy. But I dig it. I respect it. Not my kind of vibe, though. They're badass, but not that badass. I'll put you right there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, well, you and your friend are also both. I'm not like telling you. I'm not saying they're F. I'm just putting them as a placeholder. They're like the gyroids, right? I feel like they know some shit. I feel like these two know some shit, but they freak me out. But they're also, they're kind of cool. They're ancient entities. So basically, yeah, we might be dealing with some alien technology here. I'm not even going to let, I'm not even going to just, I don't even want the universe to hate me right now. So we're going to let them do thing, do their thing. Kappa, Captain. I really like, I really like what this person's bringing out. I kind of like the vibe that they're bringing. And I'm excited to meet them on, uh, what was it? New Horizon. I mean, no. Like, there's no, there's no conversation. Yeah, you're right, Space Cad. On Friday, you know what's up. KK, I mean, my intro, like, what was it? Your first game, when you go to save, right? Or no, no, when you pass out. When you pass out and you're like, you're like, you're kind of like backing away from like Tom Nook and stuff like that. You're kind of like, it, mat it matches perfectly with like, you get introduced to the game. You're brand new to it. Odds are this is probably your first time playing Animal Crossing. So you don't even know who KK Slider is. You get, you get introduced, all right? You immediately become the head person, like you meet the people and like you maybe not, you may not even like that your two own villagers. Okay. You might be hesitant. You're probably asking like, what the fuck am I doing? All right. I'm gathering some shit or whatever. Right. You're gathering some shit on the island and it's okay. It's fun. And you as a player, even maybe you as an Islander, you're questioning it all. And then when you go to bed after Tom Nook just gave you this big ass responsibility saying that like, you're going to be the head person of this island. You'd be like, what the fuck? What? And then you pass out. And then this motherfucker shows up smooth as hell. Yeah. Let me go ahead and like speak and speak the words that he's speaking here. Smooth as hell. So looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there and explore new frontiers. That's all the way, right, daddy -o? That's all. Fuck, this guy, this motherfucker's clicking way too fast. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. Gotta make friends along the way. Ramble in this crazy world of Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. <laughs> Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this on life a whole lot better. A whole lot more if you share it with some friends at your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pals sound pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, give me a sink in real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. <laughs> and this motherfucker plays his guitar and fades out and you wake up thinking, huh, maybe, 
and you go ahead and you just you continue honestly kk slider motivated motivated me to continue and then like it was like he motivates you into initiating the gameplay of what is animal crossing is he sums up the whole game of animal crossing being on an island with friends that's about it or just interacting with people in general and that's it and then we got my boys his sons top a list boys they're hard workers but they don't know jack shit all right they don't know jack shit of what what's happening all right oh we got the boys the hard workers we gotta love them put him up there he gets my flights on time they the dodo guys the dodo flight guys have a better air flight system than anything on earth you're saying like hey i gotta go on a flight they're just like boom we got you aren't you supposed to be dead isn't this turtle guy supposed to be dead please kill me i don't please don't put me in the new one I just want to retire in the soil. Granted, he's probably a tortoise, so probably lives for quite some time. But nah, you're you're an old guy. I like him. I like him. Old geezer. And finally, the dodo daddies. And there you have it. We kind of rushed through it. I know, I know. I have a lot to learn with a lot of these and with a lot of these characters. And I'm and I can't wait to learn more from them but i think there's a lot uh, that uh, a lot that we can go uh, go on i hope like what was it i'm gonna post here the link for the uh, for the thing go right ahead uh, go right ahead and have fun uh, have fun with that i'll post it in the description too but yeah no this was like i wonder how this was like what do you think huh do you think I did justification? Do you think I like I threw people under the bus? I'm I'm kind of satisfied with this. At least so far what I've known. And like, I mean, it's all wrong. Space cat, no. What? Okay. Since you're okay, since you're here, who should and like I will give you one free pass. Who shall who should I change? Like give me the name and give me the name of who I should change and where they should be. And also give me a physical description because I may not know their name. <laughs> Celeste or the snowboy? What? They have funny dialogue. Okay, okay. And granted, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming from a place of ignorance. Is the pink owl? Blather sister. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Give me, give me the justification. She has her own conservatory in New Leaf. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. I will allow this. So what? She 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 needs to go to S tier. Like quick uh, quick question. Like, do I gotta have thirty fucking iron ingots to build her fucking town? Astronomer, beauty, grace, cutie, tells you when the stars are shooting. Fuck, you made that rhyme. All right. No. All right. Fuck. Hell yeah. I'll give it to her. Um, I don't know Brewster. So yeah. Okay. My final tier list. We may, no, uh, we may switch it. No, we may switch around. We may come back to this. We may come back to this. Like after do that, I may rewatch this. I may re even rewatch my own vid. And future me might tell me what a piece of shit I am for putting. I don't know, fucking this person on here or the Chihuahua or I don't know, depending on whoever. Because I'm not. <laughs> odds are I'm not playing the GameCube one or any of the older ones. So I'm just thinking new uh new horizon so but yeah we'll see what's up but hey there you go that is the tier list ladies and gentlemen and now the piece of wow i just had a brain fart what was the piece of resistance thank you what the fuck i just missed what happened